Hey everyone, it's James from The Fit RV, and I've got a project and a product here that I'm going to ask for your feedback on, so stick around. So, our next RV, the Winnebago Echo, is going to have a cassette toilet. And since we've shared that, I've noticed there seems to be an awful lot of negative vibe out there around the cassette toilet, and I can't help but feel somewhat responsible for that. It stinks so bad, I don't want to get any closer. Don't. Okay, that's considerably worse than a composting toilet. Absolutely, that oh was so god, awful. Oh my god, you guys, it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, well, here's the thing. When we made that video years ago, we actually liked everything about that toilet except dumping it. And since that time, we actually have had better luck using cassette toilets, but that's been mostly in Europe, where their campgrounds and other facilities are set up to dump cassettes. We don't have those facilities in North America, and while it's true you can dump your cassettes in pit toilets, outhouses, whatever, the North American RV sewer ecosystem is built around this, which is your three or four inch sewer outlet. And so dump in pit toilets all you want, but at some point in your RVing experience, you're gonna come across one of these, even if it's only to drain your gray tank. Now, people say you can dump a cassette toilet into one of these, but if you look into those stories a little bit further, they usually involve something like someone doing the splits or some sacrificial footwear, or heaven forbid, if you come up to one of those dump stations that has that lid that snaps back down on it, it might involve a partner sacrificing a foot in order to use that, uh, that dump station. Now, even here at Fit RVHQ, we've got this sewer clean out in our driveway, and I'll be honest, I don't want to take a chance at missing and then splashing a blue poop stain onto the driveway. It's really not a good look. So I thought about this for a while, and my first thought was to try to make it like Europe so I could empty it home. And I thought about a giant funnel, right? And then it hit me. Well, I'd have to store a giant sh funnel. And not only that, but it wasn't even really totally effective when I tried it. And then it still didn't do anything about that whole thing about how I'm exposed to a literal waterfall of human waste. So I th kind of thought that was a dumb idea and I canned it. So I went back to the drawing board and I came up with this and I call it the Americanizer. Now, the Americanizer is basically an adapter to get you from a European kind of cassette to a North American kind of sewer outlet. But it's not just an adapter. There are a couple patent pending design features that are really key to this thing, and I'll tell you about those later. But first, let me show you how it works. All right, so here's how this works. I've got the cassette tank here, and that this is full of, in this case, just plain water. And I've got kind of standard North American RV sewage hookup over here. It's really simple. All you do is you unscrew the cap on the cassette, screw on the Americanizer, attach the sewer hose, and then dump and hopefully stay dry. And there we go. Now, when you're done, you can open the cassette up here and you can rinse that out and then just dump it again if you want. Then when you're done with that, just unhook the hose, unscrew the Americanizer, and your cassette is back to normal. It's really that easy. Now, if you're at an RV dump with your RV, you've probably got a gray tank that you're gonna dump. That's why you're at the dump. And so then what you would do is you would hook this up next to your gray tank and use that gray water to sort of rinse out the hose. And there you go. The first thing I want to point out now is that this does not permanently alter or modify your cassette toilet in any way at all. This doesn't take away your ability to dump in outhouses, pit toilets, or even your own home toilet if you want to. This is strictly about adding a new capability to the cassette toilet that you didn't have before. So where a cassette toilet gives you a lot of options for where to dump, now you've got more options.
Okay, so next, and this is probably the most important thing about this Americanizer, is that one of the reasons people like cassette toilets is because you don't have to rinse out and carry around a dirty sewer hose. Now, obviously, in this case, you're gonna be using a hose, right? But I figured at least maybe I don't wanna give you one more thing to have to rinse and clean out. So this is where the Americanizer differs from any other adapter you might find, which don't exist, by the way, or anything that you might cobble together out of hardware store parts. See, now when you screw the Americanizer onto the cassette, notice that the end of the cassette projects just a tiny bit past the end of the Americanizer. So what that means is that the uh, effluent never flows through the Americanizer. And so technically, unless you're really trying to like, you know, froth up your cassette, this should stay reasonably clean. I mean, like don't put it on the dinner table or anything, but it shouldn't be just wildly dirty and another thing you've got to worry about cleaning up. Okay, so the next feature of the Americanizer is that it's kind of, it's kind of longer than it needs to be. Now, why is that? Well, I made it that way because I didn't figure anybody really wanted to grab the business end of the adapter in order to screw it on. When I made my first prototype of this, it was quite a bit smaller and I had to kind of grab it this way and then my hands got wet and I didn't like that and I didn't figure anyone else would like it either. So it's quite a bit longer than it needs to be. And then the final feature is that it's got these sort of tactile nubs all around the thing. And this makes it really easy to attach it if you're wearing gloves or, you know, anything. I even tried this wearing oven mitts and I was able to get it attached. And in fact, my lovely wife, who is left-handed, also tried it and she was able to attach it as well. So, easy to attach. Now, in my mind, you have this adapter a cassette toilet, and then you get yourself an extra cassette, and now you've got a sanitation system that's equivalent in capacity to pretty much any Class B van out there, except you can dump anywhere a Class B van can dump, plus in a lot more places. So that's kind of a win, I think. All right, now so far I've got a prototype, and I have tested it on this Thetford cassette, and then also with this spout, which came from a Thetford porta potty. But as near as I can tell, Every portable Thetford cassette made uses the same spout. They only sell one replacement spout and cap, and you can see that, I mean, they're interchangeable. So it ought to work with just about any portable toilet system that uses this kind of cassette. I've also tried this out with a variety of different sewer hoses, dump hoses, whatever, and it fits all of them without issue, so we're good to go there. Okay, so what I need to know from you guys is, are you interested in this? Would you maybe buy one? Because I'd like to make this available for sale, but if there's like 15 of you interested, well, that's, that's one thing. But if there's 600 of you interested, then that's something else. So I've made kind of an online sign-up form where you can just register that you're interested. I'll put the link in the YouTube description and also on the Fit RV, but it's really easy. It's just thefitrv.com slash Americanizer. And there you can just drop in your email if you're maybe interested in seeing where this goes. Now there's no commitment to buy, no money is changing hands here, anything like that. Just, are you interested? And that's, that's interested, that's not disinterested. Like don't sign up just to tell me my idea is dumb. <laughs> anyway, um, if you do sign up, you may get like three, maybe four emails tops as this project moves forward, if it does but I'm not gonna really bug you too much. So there you have it. That's the Americanizer cassette adapter. If you're interested, you know what to do. We'll see you later. Bye.